<sighs> Last time took me 1914. <laughs> Luke chapter 22. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called pa which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they for they feared the people. <laughs> Then entered Satan into Judas, named, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains, how he might betray unto them, betray him unto them. And they were glad and, com and, and coveted to give him money. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto, unto them in the absence of the multitude. <clears throat> then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. And he said to Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye enter into the city, there shall be a man, uh, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. And ye shall say unto the good man of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber, where, <clears throat> where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. <coughs> <coughs> And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. <coughs> For I say unto you, I will not eat, uh, eat I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave it to them, saying, <coughs> This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after uh, the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new testament of my blood, which is shed for you. <clears throat> but behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves which of them it was that should do this thing. And there was a strife among them, which of one them should be accounted the greatest. <coughs> and he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise lordship upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doth serve. For whether is greater he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth? Is, he not that, is it not he that sitteth, sitteth at meat? But I am... But I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which are ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, and that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. <coughs> and he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before thou shalt thrice deny me that thou knowest me. <coughs> And he said unto them, When I sent you without a purse and a script and shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then he said unto them, But now he that has purse, purse, let him take it, and likewise his script. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you that it is written, that th this that is written must be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, there are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and went, in, and as it wont, to the Mount of Olives. And his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was... <clears throat> And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, <clears throat> and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. <clears throat> and it's what was as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose up from prayer and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. <clears throat> And while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, and he was called, and, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before him, and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. And Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? 
Then they which were about him saw that they saw what would follow. They said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye this far. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temples and the elders which were come with him, Be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves? When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. Then they took him, and led him, and brought him into the high priest's house, and Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall, and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. <coughs> but a certain maid beheld them as he sat by the fire, earnestly looked upon him, and said, This man was also with him. <coughs> and he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a while... Uh, another saw him and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. And about a space of an hour after uh, after another confidently affirmed, saying, Of truth this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. And Peter said, Man, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately when he spake, the cock crew. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the men that held Jesus mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is that smote thee? And many other things blasphemy spake they against him. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people, the chief priests and scribes, came together and led him into their council, saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If ye tell me, ye will not. if I tell you, ye will not believe. And if I will also ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Thereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Art thou the Son of God? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, What need ha what now we have what need we ha what need we any what need we any further witness for we ourselves have heard of his own mouth <clears throat> Luke chapter 23 <clears throat> and the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate and they began to accuse him saying we found this fellow uh, perverting the nation, forbid, forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. And Pilate asked him, saying, <coughs> Art thou king of the Jews? And he answered and said, Thou sayest it. Then said Pilate to the chief priest and to the people, I find no fault in this man. And they were all the more fierce, saying, <coughs> He stirreth up the people, teaching throughout all Jewry, beginning from Galilee to this place. Then Pilate heard of Galilee, asked whether this man were a Galilean. And as soon as they knew that he belonged into Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who he himself was also at Jerusalem at that time. And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad, for he was desirous to see him for a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen uh, some miracle done by him. When he questioned with him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod with his men of war set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a glor gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. And the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends again, for they for they for before there were an enmity between them. And Pilate, when he had called when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, <laughs> said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that prevent per perverted the people. And behold, I have examined him before you and found no fault in this man touching these things whereof ye accuse him. <laughs> no, nor yet Herod, for I sent to, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him, for of necessity he must release he release one of them uh, he must release one uh, uh, for of necessity he must release one unto them at the feast. <laughs> and they cried out all, the, all at once, saying, Away with this man, release unto us Barabbas, who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast in the prison. <clears throat> Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them. And they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil of evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. <laughs> and they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should, should be as they required. And released unto him, <clears throat> and he released unto them, him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired, and he believed, but he delivered Jesus to their will. <laughs> and as soon as they led him away, they laid, they laid hold upon one, uh, one Simon, a Syrian, 
coming out of his country, and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. <laughs> and there followed him a great company of people, and of women which also bewailed and lamented him. And Jesus turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. <coughs> For behold, the days are coming in which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the pops which never gave suck. <laughs> then, shall, then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there were also two others, malefactors. <coughs> 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 malefactors led with him to be put to death. <laughs> And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on his right hand and the other on his left. <laughs> then, sa then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved ever others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. <laughs> and the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written of uh, over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost thou now fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our debts. But this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was written in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now when the centurion saw what, he has do what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that sight, beholding that the things which were done, smote their breasts and returned. And all his acquaintance and the women that followed from Galilee stood afar off beholding these things. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just. The same had not consented to be counsel in deed of them. He was of Arimathea, a city of the Jews, and <clears throat> who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. <clears throat> this man went, this man went into, unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And he took him down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulchre that was hewn in stone, whether no man before was laid. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also which came from with him from Galilee followed after and beheld the sepulchre and how his body was laid. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. <clears throat> Luke chapter 24. <clears throat> Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in, and found not the body of the, <coughs> of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed uh, thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid, bowed down their faces to the earth and said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulchre, and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and other women that were with him, which told things unto the apostles. <coughs> And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down he beheld the linen cloths laid by themselves, and, and departed, wondering in himself at, what, at, at that which had come to pass. And behold, two of them went the same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about threescore furlongs, and they talked together of all the things which had happened. <laughs> and it came to pass that, while they commu communed together, and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one with another, as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them, <clears throat> and the one of them whose name was Clepho, uh, uh, Cleof Cleophas, answering, said unto him, Art thou uh, only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass these in the, uh, there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. <coughs> And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it, was, that it had been 
uh, he which would have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since all these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulcher. And when they found not his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulcher and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. And he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe that all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? <laughs> and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. And they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and for the day is spent, and we and we and he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and brake it and gave to them. And their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered there and them that were with them, saying, The Lord has risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. And they said, What things were done in the way, and how he was known of them in the breaking of bread. And they, as they spake, Jesus stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. <clears throat> but they were affrighted, they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed as they had, be, as they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled, and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me, and see. For spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy, and while they had yet, and while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and of honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before him. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, and all the, that all <clears throat> that all these things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures, and said to them, Thus is it written, and thus does it behoove Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that the repentance and remission of sins should be preached in, all, in his name among all the nations, beginning in Jerusalem, and he are witness of all these things. And behold, I am sent to, to promise of my father. On, and behold, I send the promises of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with, endued with power from on high. And he that led them out as far as Bethany, and he led them out as far as Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up to heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And and we're continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. Till next time.